Okay guys, um, I got another update for you guys on the 40 breeder. So this is the tank is now, that's how it looks and I'm going to be adding um, some more rock maybe today. Just a few pieces I added a few days ago. Um, so the tank is doing very well. Uh, I just tested uh, yesterday all the levels for ammonia, nitrate, nitrate and um, pH, everything, everything red it was like spot on it was perfect so I added a carnal fish in there as you can see right over there in the corner I've had that dude for like two years and a half it's probably the longest fish I ever had in my life anyways but he's in there and there's a few pieces of coral in there that are doing great the polyp extension is very well and I just added like three little crabs in there just to kind of observe and see how everything's doing but I'll take a close up look and right now all my lights are not running guys I added a, a T5 fixture with four bulbs, uh, one actinic, uh, one um, blue, one white, and one Fiji purple ATI bulbs. Um, and uh, I have my AI, AI Vega up there, but not all the LEDs are on, just the corner ones, because it's too bright, and it kind of throws it off the balance when I'm recording, as you can see in the back, see? The middle ones are not on, but it throws it off with the camera for some weird reason. I don't know. Anyways, that's not the point. Well, yeah, the water's nice and crystal and clear. I had this thing running for a while, little while already without no fish. When I did the cycle, I did add a little damsel fish. Um, unfortunately, he died. That was like last week. I feel bad. Uh, I thought they were, because I've done it before like that, but maybe I'm going to start doing it with shrimp when I do cycles. Uh, I added him, and, and he looked fine, man. But I didn't have a heater in there. Maybe that was the reason. But I did get the ammonia spike and nitrate, and that's probably what killed them. I'm assuming all the things together kind of stressed them out. Because I've done it in the past, and they've been real strong. But if I could recommend something to you guys, it's better just to do without fish, man. It's kind of harsh. Just try to do with a piece of shrimp. Then it'll work the same. Anyways, there's a tank. You kind of see a little reflection on the LEDs. And the picture is not going to stay like that. I do have a, an arm to hang it on the back of the back of the wall. Like a nice little arm. Uh, let me see if it's in the corner right here real fast. See, that's the arm for the AI picture. Anyways. Anyway. So good. I can close up on the fish. There he is, my little cardinal. He's all grown up. He was the size of a dime when I got him. He's doing great. Super healthy. So he's doing great. Uh, that rock. These rocks are all green, but I, I was running in. I was running them in a saltwater tank and with pump and I was doing water changes but it, I had them in the dark that's why they turned kind of green and brown these rocks were like purple when I had them in my other tank but they're, they're still full of life but it's just all that corn algae died you can see this you know I close up you can see the sponges like, like right in the middle right there and over there so there's still a lot of life and if the dust are still in there I have like two mushrooms, three mushrooms in there. Doing pretty good. I checked that GSP last night to see how it does. It's a branching GSP. As you could tell, great polyp extension. So I know he's doing fine. See, that's one of the crabs that I added. And another one in there, but he's in there somewhere. He's right there. He's almost over there at the bottom. The mushrooms are a little bit close because I just turned on the lights barely like five minutes ago. Another little, little two heads of little, ha I mean, frog spawn. They're doing great. That's full flow. I got these two pumps. They're the XS Stream pumps. Um, let me see. I have the boxes down there. They're, they're Italy, Italian made. They're pretty good pumps. They're good quality, man. I even have that one off because they're so strong. It starts making like little tornadoes in the water but we'll see I'll need to figure something out with that that's kind of what you see in the back too um, I'll let the pump 
the LEDs in the back they just get one spot right there because I have those boxes that are covering the light to be so that's why it doesn't spread that's why I say when I hang it's not gonna be doing that but there it is guys there's that tropic eating sand it's like real white sand it has like little little flakes of pink which I love it looks real good too you might see some of that Fiji mud in the back still that's when they flew when I put it on the sump but I'll vacuum that when I do a water change next time so you can see it it's not doing diatoms even though there is diatoms you can see it in the rocks already but I love this sand this is probably the, one of the best sands I have ever used of any type of sand it's like crystal white it's beautiful and if you see any brown stuff that's the Fiji mud that flew up here but it looks great and there's a little tank shot doing awesome water movement is crazy crazy clear too pretty nice I'm gonna take it down here to the sump so I did install my protein skimmer yesterday it's kind of running wet and I do not have a big bottle right, as you can see so that's why maybe he's doing that I'm still, I'm still dying it in I will get it I did have to raise it about an inch, maybe half an inch, a little bit less than half an inch to get the right level on the skimmer. My friend actually made that for me right there. The same guy that made the sump. He's the one that helped me made the sump. So this whole sump was made by my friend. And I thank him, I give him the credit. Even the stand, he helped me make the stand too. pretty good so let's see get to that let's see here that's like actually a it's like a cutting board that you use for like cutting meat or vegetables like we just cut it to place and we just put it in there you can't even tell it's just like white acrylic plastic kind of like yeah, two filter socks right there works great so the degrees I have a bag of um phosphate in there and some carbon hanging off. Um, there's the skimmer. Skimmer, you can tell the black stuff. Looking pretty good. Still battling in pretty well. Uh, this second. That thing's working pretty well. Give it a shot so you guys can see it. It's working pretty well. We could look at this sump a little bit better. Temperature running at 79. There's my huge area. Still working. I'm not gonna get a bunch of different macros, my friends. A lot of different macros. So I'm gonna be adding some. So next time you guys see a V up there, I'm gonna have a bunch of them. Hopefully. Pretty good. Comment, subscribe if you have it, and let me know if I could do anything better to make it better. And thanks for watching, like always. Thank you. Bye bye.